you please stand if you're able? Gives this woman to be married to this man? Our family and I did. Jessica and Joseph, will you join hands? Joseph, will you continue to take Jessica to be your wife? to live together in a holy estate of matrimony. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Keep yourself only for her so long as you both shall live. Oh, well. Jessica, will you continue to take Joseph to be your husband, to live together in a holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him, so long as you both shall live. Won't you pray with me? Gracious God, we invite your presence as we pause to celebrate the love between Jessica and Joseph, and to reaffirm the love and the covenant that they made. We're grateful that we live in covenant of love and grace with you, O oh God. Therefore, we ask that in these moments you especially be present as Joseph and Jessica seal again the vows made in another time and place. We gather in your presence in the name of Jesus, the risen Christ. Amen. On behalf of Jessica and Joseph, I welcome all of you to this place and to this moment when Joseph and Jessica confirm their love for each other and the reaffirmation of their desire to live as husband and wife. I don't have to tell you that uh, we've been living in some challenging times. This ceremony was originally scheduled to take place back on April the 18th, but a virus threw a wrench into their plans. However, God made it possible for the two to become married on that day in an abbreviated service. And so here we are today, the two standing here before God, and now their friends and their family, the ones they love, to reaffirm their commitment made on that day in April. Your presence here demonstrates your friendship and your love. The scripture for today comes from Paul's letter to the Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 13. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does, does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, 
Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. It's a good day for a wedding. Amen? Amen. Yeah. It's good to be able to celebrate with you, Jessica and Joseph, such a special moment. And as we stand here today reuniting the two of you in marriage, our minds suddenly turn to the past, and we remember. We remember two kids growing up within two families, each having his or her, her own childhood, each having his or her own friends. And you remember the moment that brought the two of you together. And since that first date, more memories have been made. You can remember the few years that the two of you have known each other and the changes you've gone through already in two years, right? You can remember getting to know each other's family and thinking, this family will become my family too. You can remember finding time to be together and making plans for the future that will allow each of you to grow and to find fulfillment in what you do. You can remember so much that you forget what life was like without each other. All those memories brought us here today. So today we create yet another memory. For as today passes, you'll realize that you certainly have become different people than you were when you first met. You'll continue to become different people. So with that in mind, I want us to think about the verses from Scripture I read just a moment ago from 1 Corinthians 13. In this passage, the Apostle Paul talks about a pure love, the kind of love that Christ has for us, the kind of love husbands and wives are to strive for in a marriage relationship. And I call this love the safety net of marriage, because like a net that catches a falling trapeze artist, this love will catch you when you fall. Paul says that love is patient, but you won't always be. Your partner's bad habits and idiosyncrasies may eventually drive you up a wall. Things that you might think are kind of cute right now uh, may not seem so cute in 5 or 10 or 20 years. You'll need to fall back on the love to accept these things. Paul goes on to say that love is kind, but you won't always be kind. Sometimes you'll even be downright cruel to one another. But love will catch you if you let it and will pull you through. He also says love does not envy or boast, but you may do both, even thinking you're better at something than the other. But love will put you in your place. He says love is not proud, but you'll have moments of stubborn pride in which you will wonder how you could have married such a stupid person Love will remind you who you are and will make you give in, not because uh, you're wrong, but because the other is not necessarily wrong either. Paul says love is not self-seeking, but you'll often be self-seeking in what you do. Love is not easily angered, but when things are not going well or when pressures are high, you may find yourself getting angry at some awfully silly things. He says love keeps no record of wrongs. But I'm afraid that if you're like most of the people, and especially those here today, you will. And you'll show those records of wrongdoings to the other, just like a scorecard. And you'll do so at the most opportune, inopportune times. But thankfully, thankfully you'll still have that love for each other. Paul wraps up that passage by saying that love protects, love trusts, love always hopes, and love always perseveres. That kind of love is perfect love. And I hope I'm not breaking this to you for the first time, but you two are not perfect. When imperfect creatures like us try to put into practice something so perfect as love, we don't always do it right. But we try, and it catches us when we fall and when we fail. Because as Paul says, love never fails. Jessica and Joseph, take this safety net of love with you throughout your lives together and never be foolish enough to try getting along without it. May God bless you this day and strengthen your bond to one another. Amen. I 
Joseph, take you, Jessica, to be my wedded wife. I, Joseph, take you, Jessica, to be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to understand. To love and understand. Till death shall part us. Till death shall part us. According to the design of God's creation. According to the design of God's creation. And commit myself completely to you. And commit myself completely to you. I, Jessica, take you, Joseph. I, Jessica, take you, Joseph. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to understand. To Till death shall part us. According to the design of God's creation. And commit myself completely to you. For four months, you've worn uh, rings, okay, as an outward and visible sign of an inward and invisible grace which unites two hearts in love. And there's special significance because the circle of these rings. Uh, is a symbol of an unending and an enduring uh, equality of love which you both share again today. Joseph, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Jessica, I give you this ring. Jessica, I give you this ring. As a continued sign of my love and faithfulness. As a continued sign of my love and faithfulness. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's pray together. Lord of love and faithfulness, we praise you for the delight your children Joseph and Jessica have found in each other. Thank you for giving to Joseph the kind of love that longs to spend a lifetime getting to know his beloved and being known by her. Thank you for preparing Jessica to be his beautiful, talented bride. Thank you for giving her the kind of love that dares to make a lifelong commitment. Protect and support this new marriage. Help them grow more deeply in love with each other by drawing them into a more powerful love for you, the origin of all love. Strengthen their bond of faith and trust through times of triumph as well as times of trouble. Help them to rely on you, believe in each other, and trust in the future of their partnership. Use each of them to call forth the best the other has to give. Help them to become each other's most ardent supporter and sternest critic. Help them challenge and stimulate each other to grow spiritually, professionally, emotionally, creatively and intellectually, so that each becomes a more complete individual and a more fascinating mate. Grant Joseph and Jessica an abundance of the skills it takes to make a marriage work. Give them the ability to communicate clearly, to listen closely, to argue constructively, to make up gladly, to care passionately, to forgive willingly, to give generously, to receive humbly, and to love each other unconditionally. And as you make these two become one, let the strength of their relationship bear witness to the creative and sustaining love that you have for all people, for all time. Amen. Amen. Joseph and Jessica, by the grace granted me as minister of the gospel, I declare that you are still husband and wife. <laughs> And may the love of God and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit would be with you now and forevermore. You may kiss each other. Mm -hmm. And now may our God, who is able to do abundantly more than we can ever ask or imagine, bless your hearts with love, your minds with peace, your home with joy. In the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is with great enthusiasm that I present to you for the first time as Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Corr.
going to ask that the immediate family remain and the rest of you can go over to the patio right around the edge of the uh, building there.